Gilcrease Museum has less than 5% of its collection on display. So what do we do about the remaining 95%? We are thrilled to announce that Gilcrease Museum has been awarded a three-year grant by the Henry Luce Foundation for $890,000. And this grant will allow us to provide new research, conservation, and digital curation for thousands of objects uh, for the Gilcrease Collection that are previously inaccessible to the public. The Henry Luce Foundation supports American art initiatives at universities and museums across the country. And some of their previous grants recipients include the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., the Art Institute of Chicago, and the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. The Luce Foundation grant awarded to Gilcrease Museum will support two major projects for collections care, research, and digital curation. The first project is supporting Native American painting traditions from the Southern Plains region across the last 150 years. The second project will be supporting the art and archives of Thomas Moran and his wife, Mary Nima Moran. Examples of Native American paintings in the Gilcrease collection cover a span of more than 150 years and include more than 1,500 objects. And these range from hide paintings to ledger drawings, tempera paintings, and contemporary artworks. The Gilcrease collection of Native American painting illustrates traditions of storytelling and memory keeping, and it shows how artists of the past continue to influence contemporary Native artists today. Thomas Moran is perhaps one of the most famous artists in the Gilcrease collection. But his wife, Mary Nemo Moran, was also an artist, and her work is largely under-recognized today. Gilcrease has the largest single collection of both Thomas and Mary's work, more than 2,300 artworks and archives. But many of these objects are fragile works on paper, so they're very difficult to show, they're difficult to handle, uh, and they've been largely inaccessible to the public. While Mary's work was eclipsed by her husband's success, but during her lifetime in the late 19th century, she was a well-known artist in her own right and received wide recognition for her printmaking. However, she's really been under-recognized since her death 120 years ago. And this project is a chance for us to reunite Thomas and Mary Moran to show their work together for the first time in more than 130 years. This Loose Foundation grant will enable Gilcrease to hire several new positions to conduct conservation, collections care, cataloging and digitization, and also curatorial research. Awards like this give Gilcrease an opportunity to learn about artworks that have never been previously studied, and this will be a first step leading towards future exhibitions. Overall, this Loose Foundation grant for nearly a million dollars is a testament to the world-class collection at Gilcrease Museum and its ability to contribute to the larger American story.